What's going on people? So today I'm gonna make a video of a cold star problems in a Johnson or Evin route. Hello, this is Carlos with CP Marine and the Small Boat Repair Channel. Okay, so this is the primer here for the cold star. When you when you turn the key on and press it, did you will power this up, and this will pump gasoline to the cylinders, so you can have a cold start in this engine. And so in my in my boat, after using it so many times, it started acting up, like um, when I was um, using it for the whole day, and then I get out of the ramp and and go to the you know to my house or whatever I'm gonna wash it and um, flush the engine it didn't want to start so it's driving me crazy so i started testing everything here this thing works it's very easy all you gotta do is just connect the hoses from here I like where the hose goes and and it come out like over here okay this little hose that's not a vacuum that is gasoline that goes straight to your cylinders so I test the system, all I gotta do is just connect it and crank it and prime with your key. If, it, if the gasoline is coming out, so we have another problem. It's not the, it's not the actual pump here. We'll make sure obviously you got gas, you can pump up everything. And um, so I try everything and, and it's working and I was like, okay, it has to be from here to the engine. So, the, that's where the hose goes right there you see that little i don't know um connection for the hose right there little little pipe so the hose this hose connect over there it looks like a vacuum pump but it's not so keep it in mind and all i did was disconnect the hose and blow with my mouth to see if it was still going through and it didn't go through. So I discovered something that never happened to me. So this is the thing, the connector, I got it out with an 11 inch, um, I mean 11 millimeters uh, wrench. And if you can see down there, it's very hard, but this thing is clogged right there. So there's no gasoline coming from the little hose to the engine. And that's the reason why the engine didn't want to start in coal. So if you have a coal start problem, check this out, okay? This is very important. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean this with a, a, a piece of wire or something, a, a paper clip. Let me see if I can make it work again. Man, this thing is really tight in there. It's like almost sealed. Wow. I may have to do it with a drill, like a drill bit or something. Because it's not coming out. And it happened in both sides, not just in this one. Both are the same. So now how to clean it with the, with the drill bit. As you can see here, now it's super clean and it should go through and it should solve the problem of cold starter in my boat. Now I'm putting it back right here, see? So this is how it's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna do the same thing in the other side and clean it up very nice. And I'm sure the boat gonna start right away. Yep, I got this size out and it's exactly the same. So I have to remove this, which is the outlet for the carburetor. This gasoline runs through here and goes, goes to the carburetor. So I remove this and put it on the side and now I'm gonna get an easy access for this uh, fit in here. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing. Look how so I put everything back together. You can see it's right there, and the same thing in the other side. And this is a little hard to see, but everything is back together, and I'm gonna crank it and see what happened. So keep in mind one thing. The easiest way to diagnose this problem is to spray carburetor cleaner in into the carburetors when you're having the problem. If the engine starts when you spray the carburetor cleaner, so then you have a problem with the, the primer system. All right, I'm gonna test it out right now. So, key on, primer system, and there you go. I heard it. Okay, so now you know if you have this problem, cold start problem, one of the things to check. So I'm very happy. I was stuck in the sandbar a few times or after fishing for like an hour or two and then the boat didn't want to start. Oh my God, man, it, it was, this is a relief. So I'm very happy. I hope you like this video, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe if you have any question Please comment in the section down below and I hope this helped you out with your outboard engine.